Hello everybody, I'm Deacon Dick, also known as Deacon, and welcome back to the new Moto Vlog series. As we discussed in the previous episode, in the sort of introductory episode, uh, which by the way, if you haven't watched, please go back and watch. Uh, or st stick around till the end of this one and then you'll probably know everything about it. Anyway, uh, we, we mentioned the fact that I want to do a four-part series on learning and psychology in the New Zealand schooling system and schools and all that kind of stuff, uh, which is what this is the first episode of. So currently I'm on my way to get some petrol uh, because I am running dangerously low. So I'm going to go and get some petrol and talk about the schooling system. So, last episode was an introduction to the MotoVlog series. This video is an introduction to the four-part series. So, basically, this is video one, and I'll be talking to you more in depth about sort of what it is that I want to talk about, what it is that we're going to be discussing in the next three episodes. So, cutting to the chase, getting right into it so that you're not here listening to me talk about nothing for the first 10 minutes of the video uh basically i believe and this entire thing is just my opinion it's just my thoughts on the whole thing uh please i, I want to have friendly conversation and discussions in the comments uh so bear that in mind right so my my opinion is that there are three things three things right that you should learn in school these are the three things that school should teach you. I don't care if you know pi to 50 decimal places. I don't care if you can recite all of Martin Luther King's speech. I don't care if you can tell me the equation for, you know, force. <laughs> it, it doesn't matter. That is not what school is about. It's about three things. To me, it's about three things. And those three things are pretty simple, but also very, very crucial to life. Uh, and that is why school is important. However, only important up until the point where you have learned those three things. After that, you don't need to be there anymore. I myself am a high school dropout and now doing quite well in life with a fully accomplished IT career. So, what are those three things? Well, thing number one that you should have learned in school is how to learn. And you might be thinking to yourself, Vika Tech, what the fuck are you on about, mate? You're at school, of course you're learning, that's, you know, I'm not talking about learning, I'm talking about learning how to learn. And what, what does that mean? Well, obviously we'll get more in depth into that in the next episode, because I'll have an episode on each of these three things. But to me it means learning how to go from not knowing something, like take for instance riding a motorcycle. When I first learned to ride a motorcycle, I didn't know how to ride a motorcycle. I didn't know anything about motorcycles, I didn't know about clutches. I, I learned a motorcycle before I learned a car. Okay, I didn't know anything about anything uh, to do with driving. I went from knowing nothing to being taught something, taking in information, processing that information, and then coming out the other side having learnt a new skill. And that process of absorbing, absorbing information uh, so that you can now have a new skill or a, a new piece of knowledge is what I mean by learning how to learn, okay? That is thing number one that school should be teaching you. How to effectively learn a new topic, a new subject, a new skill, because it's something you're going to need for your entire life. You cannot go your entire life without learning anything new. If you believe that you're going to leave school knowing everything you need to know for a successful life, you are wrong, okay? School needs to teach you how to learn. School doesn't need to teach you any facts it needs to teach you how to learn because the moment you stop learning you stop growing you stop developing you stop living you're you're no longer living a life if you're not learning anything new you're not doing very well as a human you can always learn something new so thing number one that school should be teaching is how to learn now thing number two i don't know where that high came from thing number two uh is is how to problem solve, right? This, this is a this is a big one. How to problem solve? Um, 
I'm, just, I'm going in there and I have to come around behind that car, so I'll go all the way up here. But it's how to problem solve, right? And this, this applies from the lowest level of problem solving, like how to, I don't know, solve a maths problem, all the way through to, uh, you know, how to, how to deal with bullies or how to... Uh, I don't know. I can't think of any other examples. <laughs> um, how how to... You know what? Actually, I'm, I'm just going to fill up the petrol and then I will cut back. Bear with me. Right, so where was I? Examples of problem solving. So obviously it could be things such as how to solve, you know, a, a maths problem. You know, take, taking a problem and coming up with a solution. That is problem solving. You know a very lower level of problem solving but it's problem solving uh but so are things like how to deal with schoolyard bullies how to deal with you know workplace bullies all of that is problem solving so is hey look i'm running low on money <laughs> you know these are the bills this is the amount of money i've got how am i going to work this out that is problem solving and learning how to effectively and you know in, in a quick time, you know, time efficient manner, come up with a solution to a problem. That's a skill that school should be teaching you. I really hope this wind isn't blowing out the audio. It's quite windy at the moment. Um, but that is a skill, a crucial life skill that school should be teaching. And that is number two on my list of stuff that schools should really, really be teaching its students. Now, Thing number three, and this is this one is crucial, this is important. No more important than the other two, it just happens to be important because I think all three of these things are, are rather important. Um, and that is how to effectively communicate your ideas, okay? And this one, actually no, this one is important. This is a biggie. How to effectively communicate your ideas essentially means, here's a thought in my brain, how do I, as a human, use my language, for me, English, for you it could be, I don't know, German or Spanish or, I don't know, anything, right? Any language. How do I, as a human, use that particularly human ability that we have of communicating through language? Uh, sorry, I just waved the motorcycle there and also checking it out. That was a nice looking motorcycle. Um, <laughs> but communicating through language, the idea that's in my head. This is huge. If you can't do this, you won't succeed in life. Okay, that's a pretty blanket statement, but I stand behind it. In business, if you can't communicate an idea properly, you're not going to have a career. No matter what, okay? you If you want to move up the career ladder, you need to be able to effectively communicate. If you just want to work in retail your whole life and sell stuff, you still need to be able to effectively communicate an idea. In love, in relationships, you must be able to communicate effectively. No matter what, effective communication of your ideas is crucial, okay? So that is number three of the things that I think school needs to be teaching. And really, the only three things school needs to be teaching. The rest of the stuff that schools teach is just a mechanism to get those ideas across. Okay, everything else is just a mechanism to get those three things across, in my opinion. So, they were learning how to learn. Number one thing, how the hell do I learn? Thing number two, how to problem solve, how to have a problem, assess it, and come up with a solution. And thing number three, how to effectively communicate an idea. And how that idea might be a solution to a problem that you just learned. You know, these, these, these three things all tied together. But anyway, that is the introduction to this four-part series on learning, education, the education system, and a little bit of psychology. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then please go ahead and smash that like button. Also, don't forget to hit subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.